Hi everyone, this is Neil Reitert here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended with occluding soft um, earwax impaction in a really bendy and twisted ear canal, which I'm going to describe as a boomerang ear. And you'll see that as the pr procedure um, uh, unravels, uh, just how bendy this patient's ear canal was, which made it really difficult to remove the more medial wax which is up against the eardrum. So at present, we're moving wax near the entrance um, between the first and second bend. They've got this very sticky consistency, as you can see, it just blocked my suction tube there. Now, the entrance of the ear canal is also somewhat collapsed at the posterior canal wall. So the back portion of the entrance of the ear canal, the cartilage there, is just somewhat overhanging and it just conceals the entrance. So I'm having to use the suction probe to stretch the ear open as well. So although it may not look like it on screen, but um, it was actually a, a quite a tricky procedure. Um, one of the more procedures that need a bit more technique, so a bit more technically challenging this one. Um, so it was, uh, for that reason, I really enjoyed performing the procedure. It's always um, a test of your skill when you've got an ear like this and you know, you're having to um, do everything you can to widen, straight and stretch the ear canal so we're probably halfway into the ear and on the left you can see the cartilage um, and that's the second bend of the ear canal. So our ears have two bends. The first bend is about half a centimetre into the ear. The, the second bend is a further half a centimetre, so about a centimetre into the ear canal. And that equates to roughly the outer third of the ear. And past that second bend, the ear canal, we all have a bit of a curvature there, but this patient's curvature is a lot more than the, the, than the norm. And it could be a reason why this patient is getting a buildup of wax. As the wax is traveling around the bend, it's, it's getting trapped and, and then you're getting a buildup of wax behind it, which sooner or later then occludes the ear canal. So I'm just using the endoscope, just kind of stretch and widen the ear. Now, the ear wasn't even that elastic as well, fortunately, and that's because their cartilage is a bit firmer than the norm. Cartilage, the outer third of the ear canal, is quite flexible. Um, but here it's slightly more rigid, which must made it a bit more tricky. So you can see we're entering the ear, curving to the right, and then back to the left, and you can just about see the back section of the eardrum, the posterior tympanic membrane is a bit of a reveal there you can see the blue tinge I think it just blocked my suction tube there so I'm trying to get the, the best angle I can I'm just gently lifting it off the canal wall because it's a sticky consistency you just want to gently try to elevate it and raise it off the canal wall if you apply too much pressure with the suction probe the only thing you'll succeed in doing is to almost push and smear the wax against the, um, the ear canal wall itself. So we can see half the eardrum and we're trying to remove this last section which is in the anterior recess. So as the ear canal approaches the eardrum, it narrows and it widens and it typically widens anteriorly so to the front part of the ear canal and also inferiorly the bottom part of the eardrum. So we get two recesses there, and it's quite a significant piece of wax, which didn't appear was going to be as large as this, this section. That's, but that's because um, that anterior recess, a lot of it's not visible um, to the naked eye, because it's, it's a hidden cave. Um, so, so I'm just trying to get this piece of wax out, but it's just got trapped as I was bringing around the bend. There we are, it's reverted to the more um, powerful suction probe, the full zolner, um, to get that piece of the eardrum I was using the fine end and so even now that the wax is out I'm finding it difficult to visualize the entire eardrum I can see probably 95 percent but the anterior portion of the eardrum so the front section so in the case of the left ear it's the left hand side of the eardrum it's just not in view and again you may be able to see the boomerang so we're going in we're curving around so try to can visualize majority of the eardrum as you can see but there's a bit that's concealed and it's more harder to remove just using the fine end just to peel away any dead skin that may be 
collecting in that pocket, in that recess. And we're going to have a final view. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and you found it an interesting case. Um, take care, keep well, and speak soon. Bye.